So I think I found the problem why this thing was overheating. So when looking at this, it has two wiring settings, low voltage, high voltage. Uh, when I was on the phone with you, I initially looked at these three wires that are not connected to anything. So here we have single wires with the original connectors on them. And there were three black ones. I cut them off already, I'll explain here in a second. But this one, for example, is number, uh, might be hard to see, but this is number 11. And 11 doesn't connect to anything. And then, so I found all the other ones. Number 12 also doesn't connect to anything. Number 13, uh, no, sorry. Number 10, hard to see, also doesn't connect to anything. <clears throat> now these, these blue ones are my connectors because I started rewiring this for low voltage <clears throat> and I started with these three wires. Now, as I went along, I started to find something funny. What I ended up finding was something like this. Here we have number eight connected to number two. This is wired for low voltage. This one here, number three and number nine, is also connected for low voltage. Um, this, where's the last one here? Uh, this one here was number three. Uh, it was connected to this wire, but I couldn't read the number of the blue wire. Now I'm pretty sure it's number wire number seven. So the problem was these three were connected, were not connected to high voltage or they were wired for high voltage. So four and seven were connected, five and eight were connected, six and nine were connected? No, what the hell is going on here? Anyway, something's really wrong and I gotta figure this out because look, again, three and nine, three and nine are connected, two and eight are connected. And then so now I'm going around to connect everything here properly. So I'm gonna go through this one more time and see why this thing was overheating. And, um, but definitely, definitely something wrong with the wiring. So I'll rewire it and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll come back. Yep, so here's one more bullshit thing. Uh, what is that? Eight and five? What's going on here? I think someone was drunk putting this thing together. So <clears throat> what do we got here? Five and eight is wired for high voltage. Now this number that I read previously, two and eight, oops, sorry. I realized is incorrect. Although that looks like an eight, <clears throat> the line underneath would indicate that this is in fact a number six, I think. Either that or we have two number eight wires. Yeah. So something's wonky. I'm still gonna go ahead and fix it. So I figured it out. The, uh, figured out why uh, it was thrown out right away. The sad part of it is, this is what's left of it. That was a huge heat exchanger, brand new, never used. <coughs> and it was never used because it was wired incorrectly. What is that? Infinity large vertical water source heat pump. 
blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna go look it up, see what these fuckers threw out just because they crossed some wires. Okay, so my suspicions were right. They, um, they wired it incorrectly. I don't really know exactly what they did because um, it was wired partially for high voltage, partially for low voltage. One of the problems is this yellow wire on the right hand side. I don't know if you can see. It looks like it's marked number eight. And this white one corresponding is marked number two. This yellow wire is this wire here. And so this, this, this thicker yellow wire was one of the incoming line wires. And so what they did, because it was marked eight, <clears throat> They linked it with, as per the diagram, to number two. Um, but that's not really how it was supposed to be wired because in fact there are another set of wires with the same numbers. I can't go through it right now. In either case, this is how it was supposed to be wired. This is correct. The motor does not overheat. Now, I don't know how many, I don't know exactly how they made this mistake. I'm gonna kind of stop my investigation because I don't really care. I'm not invested that much into this anymore. Um, but what happened was they wired it incorrectly one reason or another. They bench tested it. They checked the RPM. The RPM was fine. Because um, even when it was wired incorrectly, it spun up no problem, and it even blew the motor. It even it even it even blew the blowers just fine. The RPM of it was fine. Um, when I checked to see how much power it has, it, it bogged down pretty easily. And then within about two minutes or so, this thing here started heating up, and the thermal uh, the thermal protection over kicked in, and the motor shut off. <clears throat> So that's when I began my investigation to see if this was wired 208, 230, or for 460. And yeah, like I showed you, it was kind of wired in a combination of both. I'm not an, uh, I'm not an AC motor expert, and I don't know exactly how they even got it to work. But they got it to work halfway, and the result is that they threw away the entire heat exchanger. That's why this unit, if I can pull this off, was never used. See that? Not even a lick of paint has come off this thing because this thing never ran for more than two minutes at a time. Anyway, that's it. I got a new motor and an air cooler out of it. Have a good day.